Manchester. Yeah, thank you. Celebrating <laughs> 25 years in comedy. And I, I didn't know this story, but it, but it all started a, an open mic night in, in Manchester, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, 25 years ago in October, I walked into a comedy club in Manchester called The Frog and Buckets because I was sad, depressed, lonely. And, uh, and I went... <coughs> oh, John! <laughs> Why is there laughter at that point? I, don't, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 was, I was getting, I was getting divorced. I was right. in the, I was in the middle of getting divorced, and I, and I used to have the kids every weekend. So on a Monday, I was looking for something to do. Ended up going to this comedy club. I'd only been to two comedy clubs in my whole life. Mm. I had no interest in comedy, but the guy said it's four pounds to get in unless you put your name down, because it's an open mic. And I didn't even know what that meant. And he said, you, means you don't pay. And I was getting divorced, so I thought, well, that's four pounds. She's not going to have. So I put my name down. <laughs> I put my name down, thinking it would be like the two comedy clubs I've been to would be full. And I walked in, there were seven people in there. Seven. And five had put the name down. Oh, and it was... God. If, I had, if my name had been called out ten minutes later, I would have left, because I, I got called out second after the guy doing chicken impressions, and I'd left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, chicken impressions, his whole act was, hey, have you seen a chicken driver, man? <laughs> and I was sat there, and, and I, we were just talking about being on stage and stuff before, and, I, and I, I remember going on stage after my name got called out, and thought, what am I doing here? And then I thought, I've got nothing to lose. I only go home to an empty house. Yeah. There's only seven people here. One of them thinks he's a chicken. So I just... <laughs> I just started talking. So this tour is to celebrate that night. So I've booked all the UK arenas plus the Frog and Bucket. Oh, oh. Well, I tell you what, John, we are so grateful to the Frog and Bucket because mm. you've gone on, obviously, to become one of our best-loved comedians. Oh. Let's just have a look at you on stage. Give me a cheer in here if you're 50 or over. Okay. Give me, give me a cheer if you're not. There you go. There's just more hope, joy and enthusiasm in that second row, isn't it? Like, this isn't their only night out this weekend. That first group are already wondering when the interval is so they can have a win. Um, and you're at, you are actually doing something quite special to mark 25 years. Yeah, we were looking at it, and it's... It, I mean, I've been very, very lucky. I never expected to do this as a job. And over the years, I've been lucky. Millions of people have been to see me, so I just want to give people the opportunity to come back. So we came up with the idea of making the price 25 quid plus booking fee. So that's it. Yeah. So it's 25 years in 2025, and it's 25 quid to come. Fantastic. Yeah, people and only that. 25 people can come. <laughs> Last one. <that's laughs> and one of them thinks he's a chicken. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But you'll probably say, I haven't written it yet. Because, you know, this happens a lot. So you book the tour, and then, you know, you haven't written it. Any idea what sort of things you might talk about, though? I might talk about doing comedy for 25 years. I might, yeah. say, I might mention all of that stuff. But apart from... Because I'm on tour at the moment, and so the tour that I'm doing now kind of evolved and found its its space. This is a uh, this is really a love letter to to the fact that I've been able to do it. So in my head, there's ideas to come out, but I, you're right. I won't start writing it until next year. Yeah, but Al did say, and she is right in saying, you are one of Britain's most loved yeah. comedians, and I think as well is that you you appeal to all ages. And, and I want you to tell me about Francis and Joyce. Who are they and why do they mean so much to you? Uh, well, Francis was a, uh, a person who came to my gig in, uh, in Kilkenny. No, not Kilkenny, sorry, in uh, Galway. I was in Ireland and I, there was somebody on the front row. We were just chatting and she said, I'm with my mum. She's 93 and she'd come to see me. And I, and I said, that's lovely. I said, thank you for coming, because the rest of the audience can come next year, but th you've decided in the time that you've got left to give me one of your evenings, which is lovely. So she came, and then I've got Joyce, who, who always writes to me. Joyce is 86, and she claims to be my number one fan. <laughs> and she's actually a family 
uh, got her a cardboard cutout of me <laughs> as she stands in the kitchen. So I've left Joyce a number of times. Oh, how fantastic. Hey, John, thank you so much for being here. Uh, tickets for John's 25 tour go on sale on Friday. Hi, lovely.